Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Nice necklace, by the way. Real classy. Thanks. I'll get you my jeweler's info. I bet he can throw together a runner-up version in no time. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. After all, I had a career record of 24 and 2 in MMA. I left that necklace at home. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe, and who knows, maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And before you say anything, I'm just looking to help. It's the only way he's going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. We'll set up a time later, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who's tormented us for 20 years? I got to ride with her one time, and besides, maybe she's changed, okay? People do that. And she was a good teammate, good enough that we won the mixed match challenge. Are you trying to rub it in? Because I think your teammate's ridiculous necklace accomplished that already. And by the way, who is in charge of handling the charity money that you won? Brooklyn. She gave it to an animal shelter in our hometown. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she took the $500,000 and spent it on that awful necklace and murder coat she was wearing? I bet the animal shelter doesn't even exist. You can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. Red.